My topic today, <coughs> quantum reality and the decline of Darwinism. Stabon? Okay. Darwin's evolutionary theory was formulated in the age of classical physics. It is an expression of the materialistic and mechanistic worldview of its time. For that reason, Darwin's theory has been left out of the paradigm change of physics and chemistry, which has shown that a materialistic, mechanistic description of reality is not possible. The paradigm change is a consequence of the discovery of the quantum phenomena. Quantum physics is the part of physics that deals with the properties of microscopic entities, elementary particles, atoms, and molecules. These entities have properties which differ from those of the ordinary things of our experience. We must now think that the basis of the material world is non-material. Reality has the nature of an indivisible wholeness in which everything is interconnected. There is a non-empirical domain of physical reality. That domain does not consist of material things, but of non-material forms. The forms are real because they have the potential to manifest themselves in the empirical world. I will explain, cannot explain all the details today, more in my next lecture in 25 de junio, aquí. The first point of the paradigm change. Schrödinger's quantum theory is currently the only theory which allows one to calculate the properties of polyatomic molecules. In this theory, the electrons in atoms and molecules are not material particles, tiny balls, but standing waves. We owe to Max Born, one of the pioneers of quantum theory, the discovery that the nature of these waves is that of probability waves. The electrons in molecules are probability fields. What are probabilities? Probabilities are dimensionless numbers. They are ratios of numbers. Probability waves are empty. They carry no mass or energy just information on numerical relations. Nevertheless, the visible order of the universe is determined by the interference of these waves. The basis of the material world is non-material. There are indications that the non-material waves at the foundation of the empirical world are contiguous. They hang together like the water waves in an ocean. From this developed the view that the nature of reality is that of an indivisible wholeness, the one in which everything is interconnected. Matter is not made up of matter, writes physicist Hans-Peter Dürr. Basically, there is only spirit. And, he writes, there are no localizable, separable objects. The world is an inseparable whole, a not twofold. The concept of a trans-empirical reality is central to my description of biological evolution. I will illustrate this concept using the empty states of atoms and molecules. Atoms and molecules exist in quantum states. 
You can think of them as ladders, as a ladder of energy steps. At each step, the energy has a quantized value determined by a quantum number. All that molecules can do is to jump from one level to another, up or down. But not in between. No. Cannot do that. So from that reason we call them quantum states. Molecules exist by occupying quantum states. The important point is every system does not consist only of the state which it is occupying when it is observed, but also of many other invisible states which are unoccupied or empty. Quantum chemists call empty states virtual. They are part of physical reality but not of the empirical part. They are trans-empirical because they are empty. There is nothing there to see. Virtual states are mathematical forms, but they are, they are patterns of information. But they are more than mere formulae or ideas of mathematical forms. They have the potential Aristotelian potentia to manifest themselves in the empirical world by getting occupied. Virtual states form a realm of potentiality in physical reality. The hydrogen atom is a simple example. It contains countless electronic states which we call orbitals. Each orbital is characterized by a wave function or state vector, a characteristic mathematical form which depends on three quantum numbers. Here you see a selection of orbitals, all shapes determined by their three quantum numbers. When a given hydrogen atom exists in the most stable state, the ground state, the other forms also exist but not as empirical objects. They are empty. The empty forms exist in the sense that their logical order is part of the constitution of a system. They exist because they contain the empirical possibilities of a system. They exist because their order is pre-established before it manifests itself in the empirical world. This observation is the basis for a postulate. The visible order of the universe is the phenotypic expression of a deeper order, that of the quantum reality. Everything that is empirical is the actualization of a quantum state. Everything that can become empirical is deposited in virtual states. It is possible to propose that the entire universe is a quantum system. Its occupied states form the visible part of reality. Its virtual states form the non-empirical part. The occupied states contain everything that is the case. The empty states contain everything that is possible. Virtual cosmic states form a realm of platonic ideas. End of part one. That's how easy it is. <laughs>